Hey darlings, what's up? Teresa here and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be reviewing and demoing the products that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale haul that I uploaded last week. If you guys are interested in how these products look on my skin and just to see if I like them or not, stay tuned. Okay guys, now if you already can tell, I have zero makeup on, just my skincare, and I just filled in my brows a little bit, and uh, the lips are ready to go. Okay guys, so I am going to go in first and foremost with the Glowish, and this is the Blur Silicone Free Soothing Primer Base. And this is by Huda Beauty, and it's called Glowish. Now, this is very, this is a very interesting primer. I was really intrigued just to try it out because I had never seen a primer like this. And here's the packaging here. And it's supposed to be nice and blurring. And I did read up on this and it says, okay, there's a little note here. It says, keep sealed for freshness. Okay, got it. Keep sealed for freshness. Now, this is very interesting. According to what I saw as far as the reviews go, they say once you, you just, less is more to spread it out evenly all over the face and let it dry before going in with your foundation, okay? So this is what the texture looks like in the inside. It's, it's like a, a jelly jam vibe. So we're gonna see how I like this. I thought this was very different, and very interesting, and it got a lot of really good reviews as well. And it has a little scooper, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use like maybe like a pea size amount, like this. And I'm just going to evenly apply it all over the face let it dry before I go in with the next product. Yes, it feels like, you guys, that jam, that hair jam. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Okay, interesting texture. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply it. It actually really feels, the texture is just like that hair jam. That's pretty funny. It spreads nice and even all over the skin. Just apply a little more from my, to my forehead. Just a bit. Oh wow, it blurred right away. I could see it blur on my forehead and my, my cheeks, like the T-zone here. Oh, nice. Okay. So we're gonna let this dry for a few seconds or so, and then I will go in with the next product. Okay guys, the next product I have is the Danessa Myricks and this is the Blurring Balm Powder by Yummy Skin. And we did haul that as well last week. I got it in the shade four. Let's see. I did swipe it and this is what it looks like on camera. Now it does say to apply it with your fingertips, and I must be honest, I am not a fan of using my fingertips. I know that a lot of makeup artists use their fingers. I just am more of a brush type of girl, but we're gonna start, and I'm gonna just apply this to the skin and blend it in. It feels like a nice light serum. What I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and stipple it in I'm gonna go over top of this and just stipple it into my skin all over my face. And we'll go from there. Okay, next I'm going to take my Black Beauty Blender and just tap over the product 
just to make sure everything is even on the skin and blend it in flawlessly. Okay guys, so the next product, now just a small little story time, not really a story time, but I did have a $100 gift uh, coupon, if you will. Well, not a coupon, but we get our, for our rewards points. Um, so I am a Rouge member and I had uh, $100. Um, so I decided to pick up the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer, and I got them in two different shades. I got it in 3N and 4N. And just let's see quickly, I'm just gonna swipe them both on the back of my hand to see which one I would like to use for my concealer today. Okay, this is, whoop. Okay, this is three neutral, three N, okay. So let me just, this is the actual packaging here. Dior. Okay, let me take it out. Oh, okay, it has a little brush applicator. Oh yeah, this will be good. This is actually, I may have to take the four end back because three end seems to be my exact shade. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply it where I would apply my concealer. All right, we got that all blended out, and so far, so good. The base is looking nice and dewy and fresh. My kind of vibe. Okay, guys, so the next product, hmm, we need to set this. So I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, and I got it in the shade, I got the pink shade, the new shade, yes. So I'm going to just brighten under my eyes with this powder and then go in with the, uh, the one size turn up the base. Uh, this is the Pressed Powder Foundation by Patrick Star. And this is the packaging here. And again, I love this powder. I love this formula. It's my favorite loose setting powder. I have it in two shades, pound cake and butter, I believe. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my beauty blender, the beauty blends little, and I'm just gonna go underneath of my eyes and set this concealer. But before I do that, let me fix my creases. And I'm not a person who bakes, so I'm just going to lightly brush the powder away. Make sure everything's set. Alrighty, and next is the Turn Up The Base, and this is the powder foundation, pressed powder foundation in the shade Medium One. And this is the Medium Neutral Undertones, and this is by Patrick Starr. I can't get in it, one second. <laughs> And I love this packaging. It's so innovative. It's so cool and fun. Yes. Okay. Now I'm just gonna stipple this in to set everything down. Okay guys, next we're gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked <laughs> Tiger Palette, what a mouthful. And this one was more suitable for my actual skin tone, so I picked this one up. This is the third palette from this year's collection. And this is what she's giving. So, so pretty, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. I'm so happy to have it in my collection. And what I'm gonna do is, hmm, 
I'm gonna use this on my face and my eyes. Okay guys, so I'm going to just go ahead and bronze contour if you will and I'm gonna use this shade here this is the third shade okay guys so next I'm going to go in with this beautiful like rosy mauvey shade here and I'm going to use this for my blush As you guys can see, I like to use a little bit of the blush like up in my temples and go right across my nose where your sunglasses lie. I just really love that look. Okay, next I am going to go in with the highlighter shade and I'm going, it, this is a nice, it's more of like a goldy champagne shade. So I'm going to highlight with this shade and I think I'm going to go in with this orange shade on my eyes actually it's giving nice fall vibes Okay guys, next, after I do my wing and lashes off of cameras to save a little time, my mascara and all of that, um, I will come back and we will demo the Dior in the shade 999 refillable lipstick in the fabulous red that I picked out. Okay guys, now we're going to get into this lipstick and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so we have the Rouge Dior lipstick in the shade 999, and it's in this fabulous red that I had to have with the holidays and everything coming up. I needed a new red, and this is the packaging. So luxe and fabulous, love that. And these are the refillable, so. Okay, there we go. Such a beautiful shade of red. All right, here goes nothing. Wow, this makes your teeth look super white. <laughs> so pretty. Okay guys, let's get into my final thoughts. Okay, I don't hate anything. So that's a good sign, right? So the Patrick Star powder is a really, really nice upon first impression. I really liked the way it blended on the skin and it gives a really nice coverage and the shade is perfect. So I really, really do like this powder and I will keep using it and I'm glad that I have it in my collection. And let's see, the Huda Beauty, uh, this is the sh in the shade Cherry Blossom. I really like this formula, you guys. I'm a huge fan. I think I've gone through about three of the pound cakes and I have the butter, shade as well as the pink and I just feel like it really did brighten under my eyes and everything just looks really really nice and bright so I am I love this powder it's a staple so I knew I would really love it in pink and the next product is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Tiger Palette this is my favorite I love it it just looks so nice on my skin Everything blended in so nice. If you guys have been eyeing any hourglass powders, I really like the bronzer. I like the setting powders. Um, I can't remember what the actual name of the powders are, but if you're gonna get anything from hourglass, the powders are amazing. I love this palette and I'm so happy to have it and it's my favorite out of everything that I've demoed thus far. So happy to have that. I really do like the Backstage, what is this? This is the Flash Perfector Concealer by Dior. 
This is a really good one. It gave nice coverage. It feels like a nice serum -y, like a serum uh, formula. It blended really nice. Um, it really brightened under my eyes as well. Everything looks really good under there. So, and I'm really picky with my concealers as well, guys. So this is really good. I'm glad that I have it. Now, another product that I really, really like, and that's the Glowish Blur Jam Primer. I like this. When I applied it, it's nice and light. It doesn't feel sticky at all. And um, it feels like that, it feels like a light whipped jam formula. And I noticed that it blurred out my um, pores in, in this area here, my T-zone, and the forehead was really, really nice and blurred. So I really like this. A little bit goes a long way. And again, make sure that this, when you apply, this primer that everything is dry before you apply your foundation. So like that a lot. The Danessa Myricks um, Yummy Skin Balm. This one, I like the finish. I like the natural finish. However, okay, I like it and I like the finish, but I wouldn't recommend this for someone that has oily skin. I feel like if you have oily skin, you're not gonna like this. But I do like it and I'm glad to have it in my collection as well. And for me, I could even wear this for a full beat, date night type vibe, or you could just throw this on and run errands and just keep going. You know what I mean? So it's very versatile. I do like this product and I'm a huge fan of Vanessa Myricks as well. Um, and last but not least, that's everything, right? Yes is the lipstick, the Dior lipstick. I really like this shade. I can't wait to continue to wear this throughout the holidays. So I do like everything. I don't think there's anything that I didn't like thus far. And I just wanted to say, you guys, I did pick up the Huda Beauty um, liquid liner and uh, this is a dud for me. So just wanted to let you guys know. I don't know, I just, I feel like I got a bad one. Um, but it is a dud, so I just wanted to up you, update you guys on that as well. And yes, that is it, you guys. I like everything. Um, if I didn't like something, I would tell you. I'm paying for everything, I'm not sponsored. So yeah, you there you have it. <laughs> if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you please subscribe, make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you follow me on all social media platforms, and make sure you leave a comment down below. And until next week, take care guys, I'll see you soon, bye.